Hey friends, welcome back to eLearning Hub, your own learning partner. Today we are going to learn how to create a drop down or a state drop down list in Excel. This is our second video in the Excel series. We will be learning how we can create simple drop down list and how we can create a nested or sometimes it's called as derived or conditional drop downs. So before starting this video, I would request you to keep your annotations on so as to make this session interactive. There, there might be some interactive messages on the screen which you might miss if you have annotations off. So in order to explain this particular thing of drop down list, I have taken an example of creating registration form in that we have many times uh, we encounter many drop down list over there. So we will see how we can do it in Excel. So first of all, I have just I have typed everything beforehand so as to save the time that we will spend on learnings. So for registration form, first of all we need to enter name. So I just enter the name. Then it asks for age, no issue, I will enter the age. Then it asks for gender. For this gender, we can give the option of like male, female or transgender. So in order to include gender or drop down list, simple drop down list, we have to uh, go to data. For select the tab, uh, cell where you want to enter uh, that drop down list to be. Then go to data, then select data validation. In this, we have an option like what uh, what it should allow. Instead of allowing any value, just select list. And in source value, you have to select the list or where from where it should give the option to to be entered over there. Since our list is very small, only three options: male, female, trans, gender. So we can directly type it over it in this uh, column. If we have a long list, then we can select the list. That also I will show you. So this was the first method, basic one. So I just select OK. Then I have got an option over there. Selected mail. Then it asks for email ID. I will just enter. Then it asks for from where did you got to know about this e-learning hub? In this, I want to know from where the, the traffic on my site is coming. So I've given them some options, like already I've typed them, like they are coming from Facebook posts or they are uh, they came here by visiting one of my recommended uh, video or they, some of their friend have searched this channel or, wh or what are the different reasons. So, I have just what are options that I need to give over there I have typed here. So this I will be selecting while uh, going to data validation. One more thing is required. Either I can directly select this these particular list while uh, giving an option in data validation. Always it's better to give the list as a name. So I'll just select this area and give it as a name. Source I will type. So suppose anytime I want to go to source, if I type source, it will go to that place. Like see, if I want to go to source, it directly goes to this address. So it's, it becomes easier and it becomes neat and clean. So again, I want that option to be linked here. I'll go to data, then data validation. And instead of any value, I'll select list. And in this source, either I can select all these list directly or I will type equal to source ok the source is ready I can select anything from there just select then con I want to take the address of that particular person who is uh, registering the registering through the site so I need country then state then city and zip code country I can just like I have given option for this particular entry for country also I have listed the countries and I can directly give it the data validation over there but in state different countries have different state I have listed some of them 
like in india like suppose we have option for india us uk australia and germany then in india i have given some states then in us some states in australia some states so here in this this particular entry i should be getting the state depending upon the country selection like it should not happen that in states all the states are coming like states of india and us australia all are coming it should not happen like that so it should be dependent upon the country and similarly for uh, cities also it, sh it should not so all the cities that that are listed over there but it should be dependent upon the state so for this we need to create a linked or conditional or derived drop down so again before starting here one thing is necessary that we should name the entries over there and one more thing uh, for this particular video what i am trying to teach you it has got a limitation that names cannot have space in between it can have but it, for that some complex commands are required that we will see in further videos or next next video so that's why i have selected only the names which are not having any space in between so I'll, first of all major thing is that we need to give proper names like these are countries so i'll just just you have to select it and go to that name bar and type the name that you want to give country now if yeah india is selected in this particular cell then it should show only indian states so i'll select this states under india and give them a name as india spelling should be matching there should not be any mismatch in spelling that one need to take care of and again this is us just you type and press enter it will take assign name then these are the state then respective states then cities again these states and to give that also names for you i'll just type a wrong spelling for california so as to show the mistake okay like these are the cities under california so i'll type I missed the C. Okay. Then this is Florida. So I am done with the, all the background work or homework that I need to do. In order to make your sheet tidy, neat and clean, you can even put these all these uh, backend data in an other sheet. It need not uh, be in the same sheet. So, like, it's up to you. If you want, since I want to teach you, I want to directly link it, uh, link with the form. I typed it here. So, in this country, I'll go. It's normal data validation. I have to select a list of countries. Let me check. Yeah, it's there. Then for this derived value we have to use a command indirect this is the command that we have to use go to state data validation any value list equal to indirect select indirect depending upon the selection of country getting a point getting the point we have to select equal to indirect and indirect which value depending upon the country if country is india it will select indirect india if country is us it will select indirect us so accordingly okay you have to press okay because this is empty that's why it's telling that the respective country doesn't exist that error means this so okay that we'll see from the then city again we will have to link it with the state so simple select the tab for it go to data data validation and then instead of any value just select list again direct depending upon the state value you have to select okay no problem 
so first of all I'll select this country over there India okay I'll just delete it first then try to select in state I'm not able to get the values over there I'll select a state there country there sorry then I am able to get the states over there then I will select a state then I am able to get the cities over there then I will type some zip code and it's done only the issue with this particular command is that if you like I have done everything but if I choose to change this state this country to us it doesn't deletes this state and cities by default this is a drawback so this we need to take care for this also we can create some macros that it will which will take care of all those uh, errors but for that we'll have to see in my next videos further in due course of time we'll, we'll, we'll learn about that since i have uh, Type wrong name for California, so I'll try US. Then I'll try California. See, I'm not able to get the values. So, in this way, we can create a nested or derived drop down list. So, hope so you got the idea about it. You try it on your own, find some errors, get some doubts. Don't worry, just put them in the comment section. And I'll try my best or to reach to it and solve it out. If anything is there, just go to comment section and put it over there. Hope so you got something or learned this new technique. And thank you for watching my video. And if you like this video, just press that thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed my channel till yet, then do subscribe and tell your friends also to then you'll be updated with the latest videos that are coming. Thank you. Thank you very much.